Hey guys, just a real quick one today. Working on this Dodge Ram 2500, it's a 2003 model, solid front axle, and we're doing the uh, ever popular ball joints and U joint replacement. This U joint's all squealing and grinding. So that's shot. Upper ball joints loose, so we're just doing doing those two things. And in the rust belt, of course, the hub never comes off, right? And I did a little homework before tackling this job since you know suspension and heavy <clears throat> heavy stuff like this isn't my favorite. I'd rather be poking around with a oscilloscope, but you know, this is fun too once in a while. So how do you get the, the hub off? This these come off harder than the Chevy trucks. You can't just put a slide hammer on this beefy thing. Probably wouldn't do much. So I talked to a friend who I uh, worked at a Chrysler dealership for a while, Chrysler Tech, and he said the trick is to put in your, your 18 millimeter socket on the back of the bolt. You see there's a socket right there. And back these out until they're flush. <clears throat> About a, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. And then he said fire up the truck and turn the steering wheel and that should this whole thing will start to turn and that will hopefully press the socket onto the bolt which will push the bearing assembly off. So I'm going to set the camera up here and give it a whirl. Hopefully nothing snaps and breaks the camera but I'm just curious to see what this looks like. Alright, here goes nothing. So that power steering trick, pressing out that bearing worked like a charm. There's the uh, hub and axle shaft assembly and we are going to replace this U-joint. I didn't separate the hub from the axle because, well it's just another rusty fastener to undo and uh, it's very accessible so we don't even need to worry about that. So here's our culprit, this upper U-joint, or uh, sorry, ball joint. Now it's not... Uh, you know, ball joint like you're used to, probably, uh, it only has, uh, it's not supposed to have any side to side play since the only axis of rotation is this way, but it does have, you know, movement up and down so you can take up the slack when you tighten it to the, to the knuckle here. But the problem with this one is it does have some side to side play. See how it's wobbly? So that's worn. This bottom one, it is more of a, you know, a regular ball joint, and that one's still tight, so we're not even going to touch that one, just grease it up a little bit. And the new joint, if you want to compare, Mopar brand, it also has, you know, the up and down movement, but absolutely no side to side play. So that's new, good uh, ball joint. Ball joints, U joints, they're all the same, right? So anyways, and then again, I left the steering knuckle connected to the uh, steering linkage since, I don't know, I just don't like undoing rusty fasteners when, when uh, you can work around it. Alright, that's it. So ripping this joint apart, the U-joint, 
there's what an inside of a bad one looks like. <laughs> See all the roller bearings are disintegrated and sprinkled around, it's full of rust. There's the cap. It's even cracked on the side. Ah, that's a mess. For comparison, a good one. <clears throat> See if we can pop this guy out here. See how shiny that is? See how the rollers are still in there? So, two of them are good. That one, that's alright. So, just one bad, bad cup. <clears throat> I'm using the Thor method uh, from Brian's Mobile One. I'll put a link in the description. It actually works really well. So, you see, I haven't even taken the axle out or anything, you just bang right there and it'll pop right out on your vise. And there's the uh, the rest of the axle. Well now that we got the front end taken care of, working on the back, doing a full brake job here. And if you're doing the rotors and pads on these, uh, check your e-brake. In this truck it wasn't holding at all and in PA that's a inspection item. So here's what I found. <laughs> One of the shoes for the e-brake is completely delaminated and this is just kind of falling off there. So we're going to put on all new shoes and hardware here for the e-brake and then pads and rotors. I mean, yeah, that's, that's shot. But the pads look freaking amazing. I mean, I feel bad replacing these. Those look brand new. Oh well, that's how it goes. Finally wrapping up this Dodge Ram 2500. What we've done so far, you can see there is a new U-joint, a new upper ball joint on the right side. Then I did replace these two lines going from the master cylinder to the ABS unit. That went pretty smoothly. Pretty short lines, but look at that. Copper nickel. Beauty. Then we did a full rear brake job. New rotors, pads, brake shoes, and the parking brake cable. So you see the rotors here. <laughs> I've seen better days. And the, uh, the brake shoes themselves, I mean, these are they're pretty rusty, they're stuck in the actuator, that was seized up and the hardware kit see all the sp springs, you know and the little pins that hold the parking brake shoes in this one's still okay, but there's one that was pretty much completely rusted through and I ended up going to Napa to get the hardware kit for the parking brake shoes so part number 3037 right there and last but not least, we're doing an oil change. And the capacity, stated capacity for this 5.7 liter Hemi V8 is 7 quarts of 5W30 oil. And this is how much we drained out. Eh, maybe 3 quarts. It's about as much as my motorcycle takes. Probably, probably less than that. Yeah, there was nothing in the dipstick, so I think the owner made a wise decision to go for the oil change instead of just topping it off. And uh, actually, it is making some valve uh, lifter noise. <laughs> that might be related. And one thing I haven't done that we'll give a quote on is uh, this manifold's leaking right at the rear stud. So, that might be the, the last thing to wrap this truck up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video series. Stay tuned for more.